Hi, I'm John. This is a product spotlight, and are you in for a treat today? Let's head over to the workbench and take a look. So this is what we're looking at today. As you surmised from the thumbnail and the intro, we're looking at the Class 1 Model Works 48-foot well cars. And as you know, I don't usually show the packaging, but in this case, I'm making an exception because it's pretty interesting looking packaging. As you can see, the boxes look like wooden crates, which is pretty cool in itself. But when you lift it up, there's something cool here too, which is a technical drawing of the car. And then you can see through the window what the car looks like. Uh, we're gonna pull it out of here and look at it in a minute, but I thought that was interesting and unusual. And you know, I like to show things when it's something different. So I'll unpackage these and we'll take a closer look. So before we get to the really looking at the models, I just wanted to mention that as I was unpacking these, I noticed that this one had this little piece of etched metal sitting in the box. So I thought, hmm, must have fallen off. Well, it didn't take long to figure out. It fell off from right here. And frankly, Looking at the density of details on this model, I'd say I was pretty lucky to have only one piece that had come off. And I said it's no problem because all you have to do, if something like this happens to you, is just put some canopy glue on there and put it back on. It's no big deal. When you ship something with this many parts on it, you have to expect this kind of thing to happen. So anyway, here's what we're looking at. These are the Class 1 Model Works 48-foot well cars. These are in HO scale, and they have basically three different paint schemes, if you will. They call this the as-delivered scheme. This one is called the midlife scheme, and this is the well-used scheme. Now, something I will mention offhand, and you saw these containers in the car as we were looking at it through the packaging, these are actually cardboard containers. I think they're put there to show what it looks like with a container in it. So I will set those aside and we're gonna look at each one of these in some detail. The minimum recommended radius curve for these models is 18 inches. I do wanna mention that on the website, class1modelworks.com, you can find all three of these and they go for $65.99. And when you see the detail on these, you're gonna see why they go for $65.99. So we'll take a close look at the as delivered first. So here we go, as delivered. As you can see, the as delivered model has a fairly simple paint scheme on the side. There's no patches or conspicuity stripes really to speak of. Shows you here 48 feet, and then has your TTX and DTTX reporting marks here. All of this printing is very well done and easy to read. And the paint itself is very evenly applied. This is a very first rate model, even just as it appears straight out of the box. One of the very interesting, I think, features on these cars is this kind of skirt on the side that makes the wheels underneath the trucks and the wheels very hard to see. And I'm not sure if that was some kind of an aerodynamic design or what. I'm sure that there are some well car foamers out there that could tell us all about that. So if you know something about that, let us know. Usually on these product spotlights, we look at the brake end first, but all of the detail on these cars really is in the A end. The brake end only has a brake wheel, and I'll show you that in a minute when we look at the B end, but I wanted to show you the A end first because the density of detail in this end is just off the charts. First off, every bit of walkway on these models is photo etched metal. And boy, does that look good. Something else to look at down here is there's an uncoupling lever and an air hose down here. One interesting thing about the air hose is it has all the detail that you would expect to find on a real air hose. I'm gonna get the camera a little bit higher so that we can look down on the detail on this end. 
because it's pretty amazing. And this is what I'm talking about. All of the braking system is shown here. And I'm not an expert on braking systems, so I'll tell you that up front. I'm just showing you what this thing comes with. And if I were to guess, I would say this is probably accurate because it would be easier. Think about this for a second. It would be easier to just model this accurately than it would be to try to make something like this up. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Why do all that creative work when you can just look at the real thing and come up with this? It's amazing. And I think I'm not sure I've ever seen this much detail on any well car in the past. Now we'll look at it from this angle as well. And from this angle, you can see the very detailed air hose I was talking about. And of course, it's a knuckle coupler. I mean, what else would you have on a model like this? This is amazing. So we'll go all the way around the model. And really, it's kind of necessary to do that just to demonstrate that the details on this model are specific to every part of the model. So in other words, your details on this side are not going to be exactly the same as the details were on the other side. The printing is pretty much the same, but everything else is per the prototype. And, you know, I, I never really thought that I'd see any kind of a well car this exquisitely detailed. Even down to, it's funny, even down to the trucks, and we'll look at those when we look at the bottom of the car. Those are trucks that have never been produced before on models. You can't even see them, but that's the kind of detail that they've gone to with this model. Now, here's the brake end, and it's like I said, there's more piping and reservoirs and all that interesting stuff on the A end, but on the brake end, there's still quite a bit to look at. And of course, the brake end also has a separately applied uncoupling lever and air hose detail. So this is the other side of the well car, and I thought I would also share with you that Class 1 Model Works is also selling these 48-foot containers, and they fit into these cars just right. Of course, any correctly scaled 48-foot container should fit into these well cars because they're made part of the prototype. We'll get into more detail on those containers later, but I wanted to show you the well first. And here's the underside of the car, and you can see they have these special trucks that have never been produced before and that are hidden under the car and behind the skirts, but there they are, prototypically correct and with nice metal wheels. All right, now moving on to the midlife car. You'll notice on this one that we now have conspicuity stripes. So that's a difference in the paint. Otherwise, the paint is evenly applied, the markings are crisp and legible, and you'll notice that there are two different containers on this one. So this is another example of the variety of containers that Class 1 Model Works is also offering. Looking at the A end of this car, you'll see it has all of that piping and reservoirs and detail in here. The density of details in the brake system on these is just mind-blowing. And here's a quick look at the brake end. Okay, so now we're going to take a quick look at the well-used 48-foot well car. And you can tell that this is later on in its life because it has patches and the later red TTX logo. This model also has exquisite paint and markings. And something else I should have mentioned but didn't yet, I will now, is that these models have die-cast bodies. So if you want to run them empty, they should still track very well. The features and details on the A end of this well car should look pretty familiar since we saw this same setup on the other two cars. I just had a, a funny thought looking at this setup the way it is. It looks like it came off a track somewhere. <laughs> and the car is not even weathered yet. This is really cool. And finally, a look at the brake end with all the details that were on the other models as well. What a beautiful model. 
So these are the 48 foot containers that I've been showing you with some of the cars as we've been going through this spotlight. And these are as good or better than any container that I've ever had a product spotlight on this channel of. And uh, really the printing on them is especially crisp and clean. I think it's pretty obvious from this angle just how good the printing is on these cars and how good the paint treatment is around the doors and latches to make them look like they actually open. Every so often, a model release will come along and just really blow me away. That's what these well cars did. I can't get over the level of detail that they've managed to fit into these cars. And on the advertisements on their website, it says something about how no detail has been overlooked. I believe it. I had a picture of these cars sitting on my desk and I went through my pictures and thought, these look real, like a prototype sitting on my desk. That's how good they are. You know, the uh, containers are nothing to sneeze at either. So just, wow. I can't wait to see what Class 1 Model Works comes out with next.